What's going on, maniacs? Welcome to the Manga Madhouse, the channel where I, Darian, take you through my manga collection journey. We talk everything manga related, so if that interests you, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And if you cannot tell by the thumbnail title of this video, we're just talking about my weekly roundup of just things that I am doing as far as what I'm reading and what I'm watching. And just it's just a cool video where I just kind of talk to you guys just about stuff that's manga related uh so i kind of want to start off the video by just by talking about my current read so right now the main three things well two things i'm reading are from my tbr which is tokyo ghoul and uh blue giant so right now it's definitely more tokyo ghoul than blue giant i was reading blue giant heavy but then i got to this kind of i got to a part where i really just wasn't feeling it it's not that it's necessarily bad i don't really just feel like we're quite going anywhere um to to kind of tell you where i met without ruining the story uh it's it's uh die has a change of scenery and in that change of scenery at the beginning it kind of was like oh okay things are different he's he's understanding the juxtaposition between where he was before and then kind of where he is now uh but now it's kind of lulled a little bit it's not necessarily i wouldn't call it bad by any means but it's just not quite grabbing my attention so i haven't been reading it as much as i kind of but, you know, anticipated. I've been reading, like I said, a lot more Tokyo Ghoul, which, I mean, I, I, I enjoy it. Right now, I'm nowhere near anything different from where I was with the anime. So, it's just kind of just a rehash of, every, of things I kind of know. But I do feel like it's just more intense. And I don't, this is kind of, off the top of my head, this is probably the first manga I'm reading where I'm very well, you know, I know the anime pretty well. And so something about reading the manga itself just feels a little more immersive. Typically with books, they kind of do feel that way because, you know, with TV shows, movies, you find yourself maybe multitasking with books. You can just read. Uh, but, yeah, I feel a little more immersed into it. So I feel like I'm picking up on things that maybe that was not. I can't sit here and say it wasn't in the anime, but I definitely could say that maybe I just didn't catch in the anime or things like that. So I'm like towards the end of volume two. Um, so I have basically the whole my goal is the whole month to read uh, Tokyo Ghoul, which I haven't been reading much as we'll make another transition. I haven't been reading much these last three days, really, because I'm working on that Discord server. I promised you I'm doing it all from scratch. I'm learning how to do it myself. I've It's not like I'm not familiar with Discord. This is just my first time kind of really being in the weeds. I've made a Discord before and my friends and I, we just literally use it to use the voice chat and play Apex. So this is the first time I'm kind of like building something and I think it's done. I think it's done. I think I have it to where I want it to be. The only thing is, like I said, we will it will be released when I have a thousand subscribers. Now there may be a I know a couple of people have reached out uh, just saying like, hey, you know, I could help. I might pick a couple of you to kind of test it, just look at it, because uh, obviously I want when I release it, I want it to be a finished product. I don't want it to be perfect because I don't know if I'll be able to get it perfect, but I do want it to be a finished product. So I'm very, very excited for that because I'm just proud. It was like one of those things where I like hunkered down and figured out how to do stuff and kind of, you know, had the creative juices flowing in my brain. So it was cool to see how that turned out. But other back to reading with Tokyo Ghoul. It's just, um, you know, like I said, I'm picking up on things that I necessarily didn't catch in the anime. I feel a little more immersed. The art's in it really good. It is really good. The storytelling, like I said, is very pretty much reminiscent of what I remember in the anime. And so, yeah, I like it. So I like it so far. Um, I, I really don't have any complaints about it. It's not something that's revolutionary, which I don't think anyone has ever said Tokyo Ghoul is revolutionary, but just kind of just letting you know my thoughts. I think it's a really good, really good, solid story so far, because right now you don't know too much about the ghouls, but you know enough to kind of keep the story flowing. But you can tell there's more, and I like, and I kind of like that. I like that it's not, it didn't just information dump all this stuff about ghouls on you but it also didn't give you anything to where sometimes i feel like when a story doesn't give you the, too much when it doesn't give you enough information it kind of feels like okay we're kind of making this up as we go uh it's like this is like one of the biggest things i don't like in we'll just say movies mostly it's like in movies you'll watch a movie and you're like oh this is this is interesting or maybe this is trash you, you know i don't know but then at the end to just make everything make sense oh there was magical elements in this but the whole movie had nothing to do with magic not even once uh so that is kind of what can happen but what i like about tokyo ghoul and kind of the pacing of it is that i know enough to understand the situations that i'm reading 
Uh, I don't feel like I know too much to where it's overwhelming, but I also feel like I don't know too little, if that makes any sense. Another thing I've been reading, which I'm, I have a clip after this explaining volume one and I'll, I'll talk about volume two after the clip, but because I try to like record this throughout the week and it just didn't quite work together. So I'm gonna stitch it together. But next, as, as these go on, I plan to have these more like vloggy type and still me kind of ranting and talking, but we'll figure it out when the time comes. But Don to Don, I Dan to Dan, Don to Don. I'm gonna call it Don to Don until I hear it otherwise. But Don to Don is good. Shout out to the guy who, I, I don't remember the first video where you commented read Don to Don, but I, you commented often and I, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get it based off this comment. He says it all the time. That's the only thing he ever says. And then when I told him I got it, he was like, well, now read it. I was like, well, good point. So I was like, you know what? I'll read the first volume. Then I read the first two volumes and then now I bought three, four and five. So, and, and they're all here now. So I can actually start reading that. Not on my TBR. It might mess up Blue Giant a little bit. Um, and then I had to kind of scramble and put find a way to finish Blue Giant. Cause the whole TBR real quick, it was made to just kind of structure what I'm reading. My goal is to read all of it at the, by the end of the year. It really doesn't matter the order, but my goal is to read all of it by the end of the year. So if I do pick up Don to Don, then I definitely will have to squeeze in Blue Giant in there somewhere. But anyway, uh, like I said, I'll go ahead and play this first clip for volume one, and then we'll talk about volume two once that's over. So we're doing this part outside because Essentially, what I want to talk to you about is something that has thrown off my TBR. And I'm trying not to talk too loud, but basically, Don to Don. I've had someone comment, by Don to Don, by Don to Don, for like two months. And I was going to get it, but there was other things I wanted to get. So I finally got it. I was like, why not? And I and I read it. This is good stuff here. What I, what I like about it is that it doesn't take itself too seriously. But at the same time, it kind of moves forward. It gives you substance. It gives you something to kind of root for. It gives you something to kind of just embrace yourself. Like It, it gives you something to kind of dive into and just be consumed by the story. For example, one thing like with Mob Psycho, right? It doesn't take itself too seriously because, as you all know, I'm still like on the fence about that series. But it it doesn't take itself too seriously, but at the same time, it doesn't really... It's almost like it's it's dry, but it's a little goofy at the same time. It's like dry goofiness, and I, and I don't really resonate with it. It's not something that really makes me enjoy it. I, I think it's because I don't really like some of the characters. Some of the characters are pointless, and they'll say, like, stupid pointless stuff. Some of the scenes are pointless. That's, that's how I feel about that series. At times, it's really good. I'm like, well, I read My Psycho, and I'm like, this is this is, this is is quality. I really enjoy this. But most times I read it, I'm just kind of like, what are we doing here? Like, it's just like a lot of fluff. It's, it's that That's kind of what I get from it. But from Don to Don, what I get is, is oh, so far I've only inter been introduced to what five characters maybe and all of them kind of have a purpose all of them kind of they get to their point and they're gone it, it's not over exaggerated it, it is like i said a ridiculous series it completely ridiculous the premise of it is ridiculous but just something about the way it carries itself is what i really enjoy about it so that that's kind of it that's just what i wanted to say about don to don of course we're going to talk about other things that have kind of been reading this week but yeah I, j I just had to talk about don and on because even though it's not on my tbr it is something like I, I got this i picked it up for the first time yesterday as in far as reading it and i finished it yesterday so that should tell you how 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 much i enjoyed it volume two i'm not like i said i tried not to give any spoilers but just we're going back to kind of what i said in volume one, about volume one is that i really really enjoy like the like the premise is dumb. I I will not. I will be lying to you if I said it wasn't dumb. The premise is dumb, and then also part of it is when you think about it, it's just it's just a little weird, kind of almost. But once you get past that part, it's it's not like that. That's what's pushing the story. The it's dumb, but that's what's pushing to the story. What really makes the story is the between part no pun intended maybe i don't know but is the between part where you're 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 dealing with the character relationships you're seeing different sections of just 
how these characters interact. And one second they're cool with each other, the next second they hate each other, but then in reality they know they need each other. And that isn't really even like the surface level of the story because you're getting that. But then you got to understand this whole world that you're in of evil spirits and demons and exercises and exercising de these demons and all kinds of stuff. It it really is like i don't know some people if they say it's stupid i will not blame them because what is pushing the story along what is giving the story purpose is is dumb the initial like trigger but what is the meat you get in between pun intended i didn't mean that's a pun intended right there but but with what you get in between of the sandwich of what don to don is is what really truly makes the story is because like some of the some the art's really good. You have like this interesting world. Things are happening. Uh, the action scenes are pretty good. It, it's just very well put together. The only thing I have problem with it through two volumes in is the fact that, like I said, the whole purpose of it is a little juvenile. Actually, very juvenile. However, the I forget the manga's name, but they're doing a fantastic good job of building upon that story and giving you a real story even though kind of what like i said what's leading the story is not important the actual story itself is well worth reading and and that's why i think you i i really do think you should read don and don but if you come back and tell me hey this is dumb i don't even want to read it i would not blame you but as far as like if you can get past that and you can see see it for really what it is it's really a pretty good story i mean there there's just interesting components in every part from Akuran to uh, Ayasi. I don't, I don't know. I've never heard her name. I just read it. But Ayasi, they're just two great characters to have as your main characters in this kind of story. They play off each other very well. Um, and then you got the, the grandma as well. She's a very good character. And then you got the yeah, the, the the Turbo Granny. Like, it's just a fantastic story so far. Two volumes in. I think there's like 140-something chapters. That's not one I'm probably going to like, like I did Chainsaw Man where I read it and I was like, oh, I'm going to read the rest. I, it's not, it wasn't even on my TBR. So I'm probably going to read what's available physically as it continues to come out. Um, so I have a lot, I do have catching up to do. But once I get to that point, I'll probably lay low um, up until... Uh, like I said, as the physicals come out. What else am I reading? Uh, Chainsaw Man. Chainsaw Man chapter 157, I believe it was. This one was not as good as chapter 156. Um, I mean, that, that's kind of really just what it is. It's just not as good as 156. There was decent art in there, uh, but the chapter itself just was not as good. And it's kind of frustrating because as you all know, I've kind of been lulled through kind of where I'm at in Chainsaw Man. I think well, I was like at 140, I think it was like at 143, 144. I really can't remember. That's when I caught up and I've been reading weekly or bi-weekly since then. And I just felt like it just hit this mean low. But then chapter 156, I thought was really good. And I thought it put us in a really good predicament of what's to come next. And then the next chapter after that, 157, this most recent chapter, just didn't do much at all for me. So I really didn't like it. Um, it, it just really didn't move me. Not really at all uh, i will say the end kind of made you be like okay i i am looking forward to next week i can kind of guess what's going on uh and is what's going to happen in a new in a new chapter does it excite does it excite me as far as okay maybe we're getting somewhere yes but does it excite me as oh i just can't wait to read it no it is it, it, it's not that same level of excitement of i can't wait to see what happens it's more of Okay, maybe then after this upcoming chapter, then we'll start going on a pace where I'm like anticipating the next chapter. But as of right now, I just don't see it. So I'm not saying Chainsaw Man is bad. It's still good. It's just not quite, uh, obviously, it's just not as good as it, it used to be, at least in my opinion. Everybody can have different opinions. I'm perfectly fine with that. That's the whole point of creating a discourse and we can talk about it. Um, which I, I'm proud of it. I know I'm going back to it, but I'm proud of that Discord. I can't wait for y'all to see it. Uh, last thing I want to talk about is JJK. So I'm on episode, uh, what is it? Think it? I think I'm on episode 36, which technically would be like the 14th episode or 13th episode in season two. Uh, it's getting really good. The first five, four or five episodes of season two, I was not 
too impressed. So basically what happened was I, I remember I watched all of season one and I think I watched the first two episodes of season two and then I kind of just fell off. And then I came on this channel it talked about how I just had not got around to it. Should I just read it? And people are like, no, you should watch it. I mean, read it too, but you know, go ahead and watch it. So what I did was I went back, started from episode one, watched it back. Um, now, I'm, like I said, I'm further than where I was before. Uh, I'll probably, I might finish it tonight, maybe tomorrow, but well, today actually when you see this video, but uh, I like it. I like where we're going. The animation in it is so, so good. The fighting in it is so, so good. Like I know what people are talking about because I remember like the weekly, when these episodes were coming out weekly, people were talking about it and I kind of were trying to duck away, but, I, but you couldn't, I didn't see any spoilers at the time, but I did. I mean, I couldn't get away from the praises as far as, oh, this is really good. And, and I think that. I'm not seeing the oh this is the best thing I ever saw. I'm not I'm not quite seeing that and where at least where I'm at still like seven eight episodes to go. So and I'm very much a payoff person. So depending on what the payoff is, I can then go back and objectively be like oh the rest was really the you know before was really good. Especially with that end up being the payoff or being the end. So I'm not gonna sit here and judge it. I really want to see it through the end and then that'll make me feel like, okay, the rest kind of made sense and I'm glad to be, to be where we are. Looking forward to that. Like I said, I might finish it tonight or maybe the next day. Either way, uh, it's, it's, it's definitely good television. I suggest you check it out if you have not already does make me want to read the manga even more. And that's something like coming into this hobby as I'll go ahead and try to slowly wrap this up as this video is getting a little long. But slowly coming into this hobby, I'm not a uh, rewatch something over and over and over again, particularly with movies. I kind of do it with TV shows, but once I watch it once, I might watch it twice at tops like actually focused and paying attention depending on what kind of show it is. And after that, if I do put it on, it's background noise. Um, but one thing I was worried about going into this hobby was if I watch the anime or read the manga first, is that going, I'm, I'm not going to want to go through the same story again. But what I've learned, the great thing about this hobby is the fact that sometimes even though it the the one could be a complete replica of the other and obviously you know usually it's manga than anime but let's just say i watched anime of something first like i am with jjk i'm watching the anime and i'm like oh i can't wait to read the manga even though i'm literally actively seeing a story in color in motion uh voice acting all this it still makes you want to read the manga and same way when i was reading chainsaw man it was like wow i want to see what the anime is like so that's something that i truly did not expect as you all know i did i was not like some avid reader before now i am I, i'm reading manga i read other books as well um i'm still not through with dune yet and the second one that came out but i digress i'm that's something i just was not anticipating and i really like that it, it it's almost like experience you know how people say i wish i could go back and watch this for the first time or listen to this album for the first time or do this for the first time that's what it's like going between manga and anime for me right now is if i watch uh anime of something reading the manga is like doing it for the very first time so all those feelings i got for the very first time i it i'm being real and still that by reading a uh, manga the very first time i watch it. it it's crazy like before, the only way I, I feel like I got that feeling was with Naruto. As you all know, I love Naruto. It's probably my favorite anime of all time, even though sometimes Death Note will take it over on a random day. But And I completely admit that's probably nostalgia. And I've watched, that's something I've watched over and over again. Now, like I said, it, most times it was just background noise, but I've played it over and over and over again. And it still was good, but I never got that feeling that I got the first time. What was a feeling... I got the. I was able to get that feeling again when I met my wife, and then we started watching it together. And I got that feeling again of like, no, this is why I loved it. So I should just. This is like if you take anything away from this video, I should just you experience something you love doing with someone you care about or someone that you you value their opinion at the very least, and. I think you will get that feeling again, that feeling of whatever you got the first time to make you love that thing, experience, experiencing it with someone else who, like I said, at minimum, you at least care about their opinion. 
I think you're going to get that feeling again, and it's a wonderful feeling. So, yeah, that wraps it up for this week. Sorry that this video was kind of long with a lot of talking. Um, I have so many ideas and so many things I actually want to talk to you all about, but I think that's where the Discord is going to come in handy because I don't want to sit here and make a video and tell you all my ideas of all the different things I want to do because this whole content creation thing is kind of taking a life of its own because I did not expect to get to this this far so fast. And also, I didn't expect to love it as much as I do. And it makes you want to do more. It makes That's what made me want to do this core. That's what, made, that's what has made me think about creating another channel to do anime specifically as this one, you know, is manga-based. That's what made me... Just think about all these other different things I could be doing to help provide content for you because I like building the community that we have. Like I, I, like I see the people interacting in the comment section with each other and all good interactions. I see how people interact with me and it's all good interactions and I just love that and it makes me want to continue to do more for y'all. So I have ideas, I have things I wanna do, but I gotta remember to take it one step at a time because I'm very much a, I'll do it all right now. So I gotta take it one step at a time, but just thank you so much for everything. I always say this, and I'm going to continue saying it. Thank you for even watching one second of one video. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys Saturday or Sunday. What you you know that I don't, I don't know when I release the weekend video. Just know it's coming this weekend. I'll see you guys this weekend. Peace.